Greetings everyone, and Great here for another Age of Mythology replay. So on the left side as the blue Kronos, we have Ragnaroks. Spawn on the right side as the red Raw, we have El Matador. Let's see now, when it comes to relics, we do have, let's see, Tex of Emohet. Buildings constructed faster, nice for any civilization. Such injection, I think they build slower. Well, some of the structures being free. Elk of Argus, improved line of sight of all units by six. That's actually quite nice in general. Blanket of Empress, Empress Zo. Women's more resilient to siege weapons, giving them plus 10% crush armor. Thing. And over here, Tower of Cetus. Century, uh, Century Towers get plus 40% damage against myth units. Able to defend itself a little bit more. Perhaps useful against. Uh, can Raw get out Ancestor's God Power? I also can't remember what all the Egyptian H2 can get which H2 and H3 gods. Chronos about ready to age on ups. We've got another Oracle Yoshi. here being shanked by a villager. And now do have an age up. We do have now Prometheus. <coughs> no Titan yet for Raw. Boom. And the Oracle will get shanked. Scopos. And now we've got the age up. We do have Bath get back to the Wadgets, as well as Shifting Sands. That's probably more better thing there. There's the two free Promothe Prometheans for Kronos. Kronos also has quite a bit of favor sorting up, and Prometheus does cost only two favor. Wait. Eight favor. I look at two population. So in theory, if he would have stored up enough food upon the age up, he could have got at least two, maybe three Prometheans in order to, well, just start attacking one of mass Prometheans. We also now have the Inuval Clay now being flown in the field, increasing Prometheans hit points by 20%, our offspring hit points by 20%, and gets plus one Promethean, so that should be up to three Prometheans, right? Oh yeah, now the feet on fire. Who cares about winged shoes? How about some flaming shoes? Cause that makes you go fast. I can't do orc. Pretty good in power there with the AoE and power of Raw. Obelisk being thrown in the field. Yoshi. Oracle's just gathering up favor. Scopos. Bullreg. More Prometheans there. He is activating Fallow there onto a citizen. He's doing his part. If you'd like to know more, uh, in cover, uh, answer converse of the hero, fully heals it. And the next one costs only one favor. It's a very spammable god power. Yeah, that joke didn't really land all too well. Rise not push forward only has one priest here, so the Prometheans could be very useful. Prometheans do have bonus and first myth units, like most myth units. Got a good number of spearmans here. They have higher base damage than many other human soldiers for the Egyptians, but have less multipliers. They're a bit more of a general unit for the Egyptians. Yep, and one of the Prometheans did go down. More Prometheans here. And he's using the town center, focusing down the priest. The priest does go down. Now the Prometheans charging me forward. There's another priest here. He has a large number of Prometheans. He's going to have to eat the losses by getting more Promethean. Chicken Sands does teleport away. He did take a bit of damage there. He has a priest here. Once he's there idle, the priest can start healing up those forces. 
Prometheans pushed forward. We got 13 offspring for regular Promethean. There's a priest there. They're going to uh, gang up on him. More Prometheans. Only just six there. It's 13 offspring. In comparison between the offspring and the regular Promethean, we got basically 100 health as opposed to 200 health. Six damage to Crush versus 12 damage for Crush. 1.1 attack speed, 1.1 attack speed. Lower anti myth unit multiplier. Of course, when we split, go from one to three, that's technically more damage as well as more health. So you start losing more, your health and damage output will actually increase. So your surface area will also increase, thus preventing you to punch through any unit that will be more spread out. The construction on the temple there, denying any deployment any priests. There's no more priests you can pull on the field now. That's actually pretty good deconstruction. We got medium spearmen now pull on the field. These women are roughly similar to the offspring. Blue could just mix in some Argus archers there. Have the Corinthians up front line, use Argus archers a back line. Now have an age up, the Hyperion. Is access to the Seder. As well as I think was the traitor god power, right? Was a chaos. I think it was traitor. But then again, wasn't I can't remember. No, it was uh Behemoth gives the traitor god power. Well, Seder gives the chaos. Which chaos could be quite useful. And he does have a couple priests here to heal up the spores. Very nice. Subsequent on flips are less impactful. And for her Protoss' Mythic Age, you can either go for Hyperion to the Hecagigantus or Atlas. Which get the Argus. Or did I get those units mixed up as well? Can't get Hel uh, Hectate for the Lampades. Mermelos now being pulled in the field. Mermelos, or however you pronounce them. I do think Argus Archers is a better combination for this army. Marmelos are just a generally good uh, melee those? unit. They have high attack speed like Berserkers, but less extreme overall. Yeah, Argus Archers I think would be a little bit better, just simply the backline unit. Right now it's surface area right now. He's going to take a bit of time to creep around. There's Chaos. There's now Parasaders here. Parasaders is his back line he needs, but they're, now they're extremely moving forward. And right now, thanks to Chaos, he's able to overrun the Red's army, no problem. There we go. I was trying to say the back line. Like, you see how long it took these units to move around. These guys are not... 5.5, uh, it is relatively speedy. That's for the offspring. The drug moving is a move at 4.3. But it's hard to actually connect if you spend all your time walking into fight up to punch something. Now I've got Sons of, Sons of the Sun. Turns all your oracles to heroes and also automatically turns the heroes. So you just get free oracle heroes. And Gemini increasing the satyr's effect. Good damage on the villagers. Spearing on decent to hard point there. Got a scarab here. The exploding scarab effect should actually be pretty effective with all the offspring. All the melee units. So scarab's actually a good idea just to stop the melee units. Because it's basically a nuke. It's also taking time to kill off the rhinoceros. Uh, not the rhinoceros is engaging. Medium infantry, more marmellos. Another satyr to pull on the field. Mining research. He sees all those uh, 
Prometheus. He needs him. He needs 10 priests. He needs a more heavy priest composition. We also use citadels as well. These villagers are not getting hit. He did have the building inspired by the priest. Another reason why to go for more priests. He's playing raw. The raw does have the lesser empowerment from the priests. Which is better than no empowerment from priests. Slingers here are also anti range unit, not anti myth unit or infantry unit. So going. Oh, he does have plus one divine damage, so never mind. They're a little bit more generous with the plus one divine damage. Now they got upgraded, so now they a bit more bonus damage required for symmetry. Ah, that makes more sense. But still not uh, anti myth unit with all the Prometheus. He needs more priests. Deconstruct does cost 10. Favor. Maybe deconstructing the temple once again would be half bad. Market now built. <clears throat> Yuji? Shkopos? Yep, these oracles, they do need to spread out a little bit more. Yuji? They're a little bit Pejos. occupying each other's uh, zones. Shkopos? Burek? Pejos? But right now, they're fighting a good amount of favor. Lose not straight forward. Still a decent number of Prometheans, there's 12 Prometheans on the field. The Citadel here is being powered by the Pharaoh, greatly increasing attack speed. Still just trying to get hit there, Slingers, oh, and Red does back again. Overall, I just wasn't impressed by Red's composition. Caesar's opponent is going heavy myth units, but he did not deploy enough priests. He needed a quintuple amount of priests to deploy on the field, and that still wouldn't be enough. Zangre is saying, think of watching, and on to the next replay.